Welcome back to part four of the Credit Masterclass. I am your host, Credit Coach Nicole Scott. We're going to get this party started. No need for no long introduction. We want to get straight to it. Let's get it. All right, we left off on the My FICO app. So again, guys, this is probably going to be the best credit monitoring that you can get. This is not really meant for credit monitoring during the credit repair process. This is really meant for, you know, once someone has cleaned everything up, they are monitoring all of their different FICO scores and they can see all of the information on as far as anything regarding FICO because there are so many different types of FICO models and scoring systems and the My FICO app is going to give you all of that and so much more. So make sure to use the link below in the description. If you are going through credit repair, you can just get the My Score IQ. That's going to give you a three bureau report side by side. Great for credit repair. And uh, the My FICO is, you know, once you get everything kind of cleaned up and you're just focusing on maybe some credit card stacking, things of that nature. A lot of people always ask me, what are some of the credit unions that I would recommend? Now, I gave you a list in part three of a lot of different financial institutions and banks. There was like 23 of them that you guys can start building relationships with. But here are some that I would say these are kind of like the top ones. So if you are able to get into DCU, most people can by making a small donation It's great for, you know, saving secured loans, so the pledge loan. It's great for the credit builder loan, quick loan, secured credit cards, and pretty much anyone can get in. Like I said, you just have to make a small donation. So DCU is going to be one of my top picks. The only downside to DCU is when you do the pledge loan, the money is not available to you. So like with Navy Federal, if you were to do a saving secured loan, they would just put that money into your checking account. Last I heard, DCU, they wrap that money up so you don't have full access to it until that loan is completed. Now you can always verify with DCU as I always recommend everyone verifies directly with the financial institution or bank because information is always changing. So I'm giving you the information that you know I know of at the time of this recording, but things are always changing. So we want to just take the concept and run with it. Speaking of which, if you have not by now, make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, turn those bell notifications on and give me a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment below because your engagement with the video helps my video reach a wider audience. And I really need you to put at least an emoji, two, three words, something like that, three words minimum, and then an emoji just to let me know, hey, I hear you, Nicole. Thank you for making the video. That's all that I ask. Like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share with your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, and anyone willing to listen. Andrews Federal Credit Union. So Andrews Federal Credit Union is very underrated and not a whole lot of people like to talk about it, but it's a great credit union for you to get into. And when I was first starting, I had never heard of any of these banks. I was like, who, what, where, when? Like, I've never heard of these banks. Of course, because they're small banks, we don't see them on every corner, meaning, you know, it also might be hard to get to a branch, but that's where online banking comes into effect. And generally, any sort of major bank, you can set up online banking, make transfers between your accounts, and get everything worked out online. Now with Andrews, you have the capability of not having a hard pull. Now I was informed by someone previously that they were able to give them one year's worth of tax returns, which resulted in a soft pull versus a hard pull. So it's really up to you. Now, some of the cons of Andrews are, you know, the secured card is not going to graduate. So you'll actually have to close it in order to get your money back. So that's why I always tell you guys when you open up these secured credit cards, Just have the understanding that you're going to need to keep this open for at least five to seven years so we can get that payment history, okay? Another con of this is, you know, your secured credit card, since it does not graduate, that means that it is not going to be reported for any other sort of account. You're not going to, you know, be able to transfer this account. You know, you'll have to open up an additional credit card since this one does not 
graduate. Now that could change in the future. I'm not saying that it's, you know, set in stone, but that's what I've seen with Andrews, but they do have unsecured credit cards that are great for those of you that have a little better credit score. I would say 700 plus. Andrews also has the secured loan opportunity. So this is like the pledge loan where you put your money in your savings account, you take a loan out against it. And of course, you can pay these off a lot quicker if you wanted to. The goal is to build up payment history. So if you are going to do a secured loan and you want to pay it off early so you don't acquire additional interest, I would pay 70, 80 percent of it off and let the rest of that balance just stay on auto pay for, you know, a 24 month period. So at least that way you can literally set everything up so it's on autopilot and it's building credit on its own. The secured loans go from 500 up to 500,000. Most of these secured loans do not require a hard credit pull. So just to let you guys know, it does report to your personal credit, but there should not be a hard pull when it comes to the secured loan options. They are a great long-term potential product. So that way you can build credit on the personal side, build your relationship on the personal side, and then eventually mosey on over to the business side. Andrew is known to pull from two to three credit bureaus, kind of like Capital One. They're going to pull from all three credit bureaus but somewhat conservative unless you data mine for at least six months, meaning you date them, you groom your relationship with them for six months. They see a pattern of direct deposit. So that's really where this grooming period comes into play when it comes to Andrews. Instead of most banks being that, you know, three month billing cycle, I'm going to say six months when it comes to Andrews because they are a smaller institu institution, but they are great once you build up that relationship with them. They have a titanium that will give you $30,000 credit approvals. Okay. So go on to their website. You can apply for it right there. And with the titanium credit card, they only pulled TransUnion and there was no documents required. Usually, you know, the best rule of thumb is you can go up to about 50K without any documents being required. I have seen people go over and I've also seen people under. You just really never know, but it's not the end of the world if they do ask you for documents, just provide those to them, even if the numbers might not be exactly the same, because of course, they're asking you on um, the current versus previous. So I would definitely shoot for those higher digits, if you know what I mean. Now, if you guys have not by now, make sure that you visit the link in the description where I give you a full complete list of over a hundred different banks and financial institutions, how to join and some different data points about those institutions. So that way you guys can start doing your research, see if that's a bank that is going to work for you. I always recommend for people that are entrepreneurs or looking to be become a small business owner, you want to find banks that are good on the personal and the business side. The only bank that's not really, you know, relevant on the business side is PinFed. So uh, there's still a great bank on the personal side and pretty much anyone can get in. However, the business side is like non-existent. So if you visit the link in the description or if you have access to the course, you can go ahead and just click here and that will take you directly to that spreadsheet that has all of the different banks and financial institutions because you know how I tell you guys, if you knew better, you would do better. I'm gonna give you that information that you need to know, not what you wanna hear to try to make a sale, not what you wanna hear so I can say, yeah, 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 no problem. No problem. Just give me your money. No, I'm hell no. <laughs> hell no. Okay. I want to tell you the truth. I want to keep it real with you because that's not what everyone is doing. Okay. There's a lot of misunderstood information out there. I give you the concept you run with it. Okay. If you haven't by now, make sure that you subscribe to the credit concept podcast, turn those bell notifications on because I'm starting to create more content. If you have any ideas of content that you want to hear about, leave it in the description, guys. I need you to engage with the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. All right, let's go. 
Here's some additional information. I'm not going to go over all of this with you guys, but if you have the course, you'll be able to review it and kind of get some more data points on Andrews. So I'm telling you guys, this, this information is a real game changer because when I started learning about credit and becoming obsessed with credit, it opened my eyes to so many different opportunities. So I want you guys to soak up all of this information. Again, if you need a help, book a call. So what we have right here, okay, reloadable debit cards. Yes, reloadable debit cards. What does that mean? Well, we know Navy Federal has one, right? We know that we can load these debit cards with a credit card. Let's move on. PenFed. PenFed is great, but they're not great on the business side. Okay. And um, that's why I want you guys to have a clear understanding. PenFed is a wonderful institution. They are very old school. Um, they are inquiry sensitive and they are balance sensitive. So when you are going to apply for their credit cards, make sure all of your current credit cards are at a zero balance. I've had so many people that have been denied with them because they had too many balances on credit cards. So even if you have an $8 balance, no, it needs to be at zero because they had all relatively low balances, but were still denied because they had balances on too many uh, credit cards. So uh, PenFed is great if you are not able to get into Navy Federal. And it is reported that their pledge loans uh, require $20 a month minimum to pay. So a 24 month loan needs a $480 balance. PinFed, oh, let's erase that last one. PinFed also offers the secured loan and it does not work like Navy Federal. So you need to make sure that it is set up on auto pay. I'm not sure if they have the auto pay option set up. It's been a long time for me with PinFed. I, I got them several years ago. So things are, you know, always changing. But if you do do the secured loan, make sure it is set up on auto pay or make sure you have a reminder in your phone so you are never late on anything, okay? And Equifax is going to be who PinFed is pulling from. So they are an Equifax bank. So if you are looking for a bank that pulls from Equifax, PinFed is going to be a great option for you, but you just want to make sure that you have, you know, a 680 plus credit score. You don't have any balances on your open credit cards. You have less than three inquiries, okay? Because they are inquiry sensitive and balance sensitive. But they are really great for auto loans. They have several credit cards that you can get. Um, I've had one client that has three different high limit credit cards with PinFed, the gold card, the platinum, I think, and you know, the cash rewards. So they have a ton of great credit cards, not to mention their auto loans are really great as well. So if you're looking to refinance or to even purchase, you can go directly to PinFed and apply for the auto loan. I do recommend signing up to become a member with them first. You want to use that same tactic with all of the banks, become a member, start building, three billing cycles or 90 days, you know, whichever comes first. Let's talk about positive primary accounts and what positive primary accounts are simply exactly that. They are accounts that are in your name that you are responsible for paying. Those are what's called primary trade lines, trade lines that you are responsible for for paying every single. I want you guys to beware because there is a lot of companies out there claiming to offer primary trade lines. A lot of primary trade lines that have been out there in the past, like the My Jewelers Club, which a lot of people may may have heard of, may not have, but they were really popular. Um, was it like right around COVID time? So about 2019, 2020, where you can pay them $99 and they'll give you a $5,000 credit account with them and it reports to all three credit bureaus. There was a lot of these type of companies, but unfortunately they're not banks, they're not financial institutions. Once the credit bureau finds out, they stop reporting them. So My Jewelers Club no longer reports to your credit reports. Same thing with like the Sable One, the BlockFi, the Figure Pay, the Zorro card. So you really want to be careful with all of these like FinTech cards or these primary trade lines. 
Don't ever purchase primary trade lines from anyone. I had a client, she purchased primary trade lines from someone who I thought was pretty reputable on Instagram and they never reported. So in my opinion, you create your primary trade lines with, you know, the secured loans. Okay. You can take money off your credit card to do the secured loans. You can recycle funds. So you just really have to be smart. Again, if you need help, book a call, but you don't want to fill up your credit report with all these garbage trade lines. And then all of a sudden, um, none of them report and they're expensive. So just beware. Okay. Because if it sounds too good to be true, chances are it probably is, but you can always book a call with me and I will give you the real deal or we can research, research it together to make an educated decision. Cause sometimes it's hard to tell if it's going to be the right, the right move for you, but you know, free information on social media, like Instagram, you're, you're literally getting you know, a piece of the puzzle. Okay. It's one piece to the puzzle. And sometimes when you just get one slice of something, it's really good. And it's like, oh my God, I want more. Right. But when it looks too good to be true, especially when you're in need, it's usually fool's gold. Okay. Let's just be honest. Cause if something was that easy, then everyone would have it. All right. If getting late payments were that easy to get removed from your credit report, if late payments were illegal to be reported to your credit report, then no one would have them. So let's just you know, be mindful of that guys, because I want you guys to make your next move, your best move. You don't want to just see something on social media and say, Oh, well, this is, this is what it is. Um, because there's a lot of fool's gold out there. So be, be mindful and you can always book a call with me and I'll give you my honest feedback. And if I don't have any feedback, you know, we can do some research and see if it would be, uh, but the best primary trade lines that we can be doing for ourselves are building those secured loans with those banks and financial institutions that are not going to be going out of business tomorrow or anytime soon. Okay. Building secured loans is a great way to just put your cash on your credit report and recycle the money that you already have to build credit. And guess what? It's not going to cost you a hard inquiry. So these, and that's really what the pledge loan hack is, is just recycling your own money and putting it on your credit report so you can build a relationship with the bank and get a whole nother trade line, a primary trade line at that with payment history on your credit report. Um, they're quality bank issued trade lines. You can literally set it up on auto pay and forget it. So it's on autopilot, helping you build credit for the next 24 months or so. And most of the time there's no money locked up. Like with Navy federal, the money's in your savings account. And then when you do the pledge loan, they put it into your checking account. That's how it is with most institutions. Now, you, if you are worried about them tying up the money, that's something that you can speak to them about. Say, look, I want to make sure that I'm going to have access to my money because I'm going to use that money to pay it back. So um, just verify that with the bank. And guess what? Opening up these type of pledge loans does not affect the 524 rule with Chase because they're not credit cards. These are installment accounts. Okay. And what Chase is looking for is if you've opened up five credit card accounts or revolving accounts in the last 24 months, because if you have, you look like you're a credit seeker and you look thirsty. So we're not going to give you nothing, but you know, you could potentially have it bypassed on the business side. If you were working directly with a uh, banking manager and you haven't got a ton of new credit like in the past 12 months or so. Back to the primary trade lines that we're building up for our credit report. They are a savings secured loan, not a CD secured loan. So not a certificate of deposit, but a savings secured loan, okay? Or a pledged savings loan, okay? Navy Federal is not the only one that does the pledge loan. I, I've talked about this so many times, okay? I have so many videos on it. So if you haven't watched all of the videos in the playlist, I'll leave the playlist below. Watch all of those videos, the, the business credit, 
the personal credit. There's so many videos that have so much good information and get the course because a lot of these type of videos are in the course along with the slideshows. Let's talk about getting into Navy Federal. Very easy. You need to have a family member that has been in the service, Navy, Army. I was talking to a gentleman the other night. It's funny enough. And I was like, well, do you qualify to get into Navy Federal? He's like, no, I don't qualify. And then I was like, well, you know, if you did have a father that served in the army, you would qualify. He said, you know what? My father was in the army. I'm actually looking at a picture of him right here. And I didn't even think about that. I didn't even realize that I could get in by my father being in the army. So if you had a parent, a grandparent, a spouse, a sibling, if you have children, adopted or stepchildren, or even grandchildren that are in the military, it army, Navy, you know, any service based, you know, government agency, you know, is a service member, Air Force, okay, this is a direct family member, this will connect you to get qualified to open up a Navy federal account. Okay. And a lot of people, you know, they have lied and said that they did have a family member. I don't recommend lying because there's so many other banks that you can get into besides Navy Federal that are just as good as Navy Federal, like PinFed, DCU. But if you did have some sort of family member that was in the service, you just let them know, hey, they were in the service. And, you know, I've had some people that say their uncle was in, they got those in. So even a direct family member, you can use that person, their name, that's all they would need. You don't need their DDT 14 number. Now things have been getting a little bit more strict with them. So, you know, think in two steps as well, right? So if a distant family member is in the military or Navy Federal, see how membership can be tracked backward to a direct family member. So if a distance family member is in the military, try to see how membership can be traced backward to a direct family member. My uncle is in the military. I cannot get through to him, but my uncle is my mom's brother. My mom can get into Navy Federal via my uncle because they're claiming siblings, and then I can get in through my mom. So think of it that way. If you don't qualify, but your mom qualifies, that's a great opportunity for you to still be able to get into Navy Federal because guess what? My mom's brother was in the service, so she qualifies for membership. And once she qualifies for membership, I qualify for membership. And that's one way to do it, guys. But don't get hung up if you're not able to uh, join, right? So if you do have a direct family member that becomes Navy Federal member, they can help you get in as well. Uh, They would just need to provide you with their access number. And you can also get in if you live with a roommate. So if you are roommating with someone who is a Navy Federal member, um, it does not need to be family related. It can be any sort of roommate. So if it's your spouse, whomever, you can go this route, right? A lot of people that are boyfriend, girlfriend, not quite married, sometimes that causes issue. Hey, they're still your roommate, so you can get them into Navy Federal. And then if you use this path, do not apply for credit or do anything with your account for 60 days. And if you are going to be using their roommate hack, anyone can be your roommate, okay? If you use this path and do not apply for anything, you are going to need to change your address to the correct address that is on file with the Navy Federal member, and then you can apply for things. You want to use a passport, not a driver's license, okay? Because the passport does not have a home address on it, so... There are some things that you have to kind of go through in order to make it work. But if you want something bad enough, I always tell people you'll find a way to get that done. If you are rebuilding your credit, I do think that it's extremely vital that you try to find a way into Navy Federal because they are a great bank 
and they, you know, give out credit to very low credit scores and they give out high limits. So that's another thing that makes it worthwhile. I wouldn't make Navy Federal my main bank, but I would use them for what they're good for. And that's helping people reestablish credit and giving high limits. So how to date Navy Federal Credit Union and have a good relationship with them. This one's pretty easy, especially if you guys have seen my Navy Federal Masterclass, because a lot of this information is in the Masterclass. Okay, but let's just run through it real fast. With Navy Federal, you want to get the flagship checking account. Me personally, I just have the normal checking account and it worked fine for me. So either one, but if you don't plan to do a lot of transactions with them, maybe the flagship would be better for you. Savings account, just have one open. You put like five bucks in it. Okay, it's, I think it might be $5 to open up your account anyways, but again, the more, the better. So if you can put like 150 to 100 in your savings account, I think that would be better for you, right? Direct deposit. So they would like to see consistent deposit behavior. You can do the pledge loan hack. You can do two different pledge loans. So like I told you guys in some of my previous videos, I actually did two pledge loans with Navy Federal. My first one was 3,500 and my second one I think was about 20K. So you would just need to do them a couple months apart from each other. So you can do one and one should be for at least like 60 months. And I would not pay it off sooner than, you know, 24 months. You can pay the balance down so you're not paying as much in interest. But we want a 24 month, you know, trade line from these secured loans. So we can show consistency because we can literally set it up set it and forget it, set it up on auto pay and let the money work. It's magic. Okay. We want to try to have at least one higher limit pledge loan, 10 K plus, and then you can do another one for pretty low limits, but I wouldn't really recommend anything under a thousand. Uh, you can go as low as 250 and you can do multiple small ones. But if your goal is to get higher limits, let's try to raise the bar. Even if we can do 1000, let's, let's do that. Okay. Or 5,000, anything that's, you know, more zeros, the better. Let's just be honest. Okay. You also want to activate the overdraft protection. Okay. After 91 days of membership, there is an extra product that you can enroll in, which is the overdraft protection plan. And then you can also sign up for a business account if you have an EIN and all business accounts must be personal members. So once you've had a Navy Federal personal account for, you know, 30 days or so, you can open up a business account for your LLC or corporation. Of course, there's no rush for this and you certainly don't need to do this. This is just for people that have a business or that are looking to start a business and ha actually have an EIN. This is the OOPS, which is the Optional Overdraft Protection Service, and that I do recommend that you enroll in this once it is available for you. You can call them to enroll, or you can mail or fax them the opt-in PDF form, but you definitely wanna make sure that you are enrolled in this, but hopefully you don't have any overdraft or anything like that, because that's going against what we're working so hard towards, okay? That is a damaging to relationships. Overdraft fees, low balance fee, low balances, those are all red flags to a bank, okay? So let's talk about how to find pledge loan hacks. And again, guys, make sure if you have not by now, turn those bell notifications on, give me a huge thumbs up, leave me some comments below, throw me a couple emojis, a couple words. I need your engagement because guess what? Your engagement with the video helps me reach a wider audience and helps me create more content like this that is truly life-changing to people for absolutely free, okay? So if I have given you any sort of value, all that I ask you in return is for you to give me a huge thumbs up, share my video with your friend, friends, family, neighbors, loved ones, anyone that wants to level up, they need to listen to this stuff. So like, subscribe. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Now back to the secured loans. What we are looking for is a saving secured loan, not a CD. A CD is very different. That is a certificate of deposit. And there is 
a big difference, okay? So let's just break down what we're looking for. Now, a lot of people ask me, is there a hard credit pull for these secured loans? This is no credit pull, okay? So there is a minimum and maximum amounts that are allowed. And ideally for the secured loan, which is also known as their pledge loan. We want to do at least 5,000 if we can. A lot of people take this money off of their credit card or they'll go get another personal loan for this amount and just recycle that money and do, you know, credit building the smart way. You know, a lot of people take out a loan just so they can get some credit, take a loan out and make that trade line, you know, create three different trade lines. Okay. All with the same money recycling it. Okay. So, um, the higher uh, amount, the better, right? So if you're going to get a personal loan for 20000 do a $20,000 pledge loan. Do two $20,000 pledge loans. Now you got three total $20,000 trade lines on your credit report that are going to show 100% payment history. So that's amazing. Uh, what's the longest term? So they do have different terms. Ideally, we want to go with about 60 months because we need at least a 24 month history. Now, a lot of people are like, I don't want to pay the interest. Just pay it. Okay. You're going to be paying more in fees if you try to build credit with someone else. Okay. If you do want to pay it down, you can pay down the balance to, you know, 30% due, you know, whatever, and just pay the rest of that small balance over a 24 month time period. So that way the auto payments are just taking care of everything. All right. But so a lot of people ask me tons of questions about this. And somebody recently asked me like, does the principal get returned to me as I pay off the loan or only at the maturity of the loan? And we want the principal returned as we pay it down. Okay. And then another question was, you know, if I, you know, pay a few months out just to have that kind of breathing room. Does this change the terms? No, it just means that you're going to postpone the payment. So if you pay extra, you might not have a payment due until 2025, you know? So just understand what the terms are and make note of that and just make sure when payments are ready to resume that you have everything on auto pay and you can have a representative over the phone help you set up everything. Okay. Here are some other institutions that do the pledge loan, which is just the secured savings loan. And Again, if you can't get into Navy Federal, these are banks that you can absolutely can get into. PinFed, Andrews Federal Credit Union, Space Coast Credit Union, Launch Credit Union, Air Force Credit Union, New Vision, Patelco, SDF, San Diego, Firefighter Credit Union. Here are 10 other financial institutions that you can use to do the pledge loan hack as well. I'm not going to go over each of them in detail, but there are 10 right there. So take a screenshot of it and you can research these. PinFed, obviously we went over that one a little bit earlier. Andrew, same thing. But these are other places, not to mention there's a ton more. These are just some of many that offer the pledge loan hack. Here are some other credit builders that I would use if I were starting all over and needed to rebuild my credit. So I really enjoy Smart Credit. They have credit building options on the personal side and on the business side. And guess what? On the business side, they actually report to Equifax, which is one of the reasons why I'm a huge fan of Credit Strong. So if you are interested in getting Credit Strong, I have a link below in the description that is our affiliate link and at no additional cost to you, you can help support our channel. By using our link, it helps support our channel. It gives us a very, very small commission. And guess what? It's at no additional cost to you. So if you are going to be signing up for any of these places, please check the link in the description and use our affiliate link to help support our channel so we can make more educational videos like this, teaching you guys about the real deal and how to fully understand your credit and fix your own credit so that way you don't have to pay anyone. I mean, it's one thing if you just simply don't want to do it, you don't have the time, you're simply not interested and you want to pay somebody else. Sure, that's understandable. But you also want to be a part of the process and understand 
what you need to do, what they're doing, what's going on, so on and so forth. So that's why it's great to work with someone like myself that is a coach so we can work together, okay? So Credit Strong, they have different plans. You know, you can get the Magnum plan. I think their plans now are, you know, in the high $20,000 range, but this one is just an average plan. It's $49 a month and it's a $2,500 installment account. So this one's good. They have the $28 a month one, which is the most affordable. Me personally, I like the CS Max ones because they are a higher limit. And the goal of us adding these to our credit profile is for us to be able to have higher limits reported to our credit. Self, same thing. Again, guys, just stay on the installment side. We don't want to necessarily go over to the credit cards with these. These are just for us to build up some installment history because with the credit cards and the revolving lines of credit, we want to take those to the banks. But self is great too. Again, I have my affiliate link in the description, no additional cost to you. It helps support our channel. So, so far you can get, you know, two credit strong accounts. You can get one high limit, one low limit. You can get one self account. So now that's three installment loans. And then you can do, you know, a couple pledge loans. If you do four pledge loans, great. So you can do two loans with two different institutions, which will give you four additional trade lines. So just by doing those things that are not going to cost you a hard inquiry at all, you are adding seven primary trade lines to your credit profile, which is amazing seven primaries. And guess what? Your monthly overhead would only be about 125 bucks. Okay. And that's going into a savings account because with self and credit strong, it's really just a savings account. So this is what that would look like. And our goal is to get 12 months of payment history. Okay. Now Covo is another good option for you guys to build credit and they report a $240 loan and it's 10 bucks a month for like 24 months. I've left a link below for Covo as well. So if you are interested in uh, building credit, there are a ton of links in the description along with a page that has some of the most popular credit builder accounts that are available right now. Let's talk about rental primary. So if you pay rent, you should definitely be getting credit for that because this is typically the most expensive bill we have. But guess what? In most cases, it's not reported to our credit report. So we're not even getting credit for that. So this is how you guys can add your rental payments to your credit report. Now there is a self rent plus bill reporting, which reports to all three credit reports. There is boom pay. I really like boom pay. And again, there is a link below in the description for boom pay. They report to all three, very inexpensive. And guess what? You can backdate it so you can get the last 24 months of history added to your credit report using boom pay. And all that they would need to do is just connect to a financial, you know, bank account, credit card, however you pay your rent electronically, they just need to connect that account to verify all of the payments and they can add the last 24 months. They do not need to contact the landlord or have any involvement. They just need a copy of your lease agreement and for you to connect the account that you pay your rent out of. There's no hard credit check. It reports to all three credit bureaus. I know boom pay sounds too good to be true, but it isn't. This is actually uh, the real deal and it's super cheap. I think it's like a couple bucks and you can add a last 24 months of payment for an extra a few dollars. So it's totally, totally worth it. The only problem that you're going to have is if you pay your rent with a money order, if you pay your rent cash, it needs to be paid electronically. So that way boom pay can verify it and see the transactions coming out of either a credit card, a bank account, um, some sort of electronic form. So if you are interested, use the link below to sign up for BoomPay. Like I just went over, cash and money order is not an option to add your rental payments. But if you use Zelle, Venmo, PayPal, um, those are all fine in Dandy. It's literally just them verifying the transactions on a monthly basis. And if your bank is not listed with Plaid, 
they can do a landlord verification by calling. So there are some options. You could definitely reach out to them and see if you can make it work. There are other rental primary accounts that you can do the same thing with. So you're basically using your rental payment history to create, you know, three or four different primary trade lines with a 24 month history on your credit report, which is great for those of you that have a thin file. So you can add, you know, rent track, level credit, credit rent boost, rock the score, insurer rent, payment report, boom pay. There's all these different places. There's even rental rent reporters. So there's rent reporters. They don't report to all three. They're just Equifax and TransUnion. So they do not report to Experian right now. I hope that they're working on that, but until they do, BoomPay is going to report to all three and Payment Report is going to report to all three. So here are some other rental primary accounts. You can do Rental Karma and Rent Reporters. Those are probably two of the better options. There's also Rent Track, Level Credit, Credit Rent Boost, rock the score, you know, these other ones, but a lot of the other ones do not report to all three credit bureaus. So you kind of have to take with it what you will. Boom pay is really the only one that I can verify that reports to all three rent reporters reports to Equifax and to TransUnion. And likely they are going to need the landlord involvement to verify a lot of the payment history. You can in theory create multiple primary trade lines by leveraging your rental payments and getting that 24 month history backdated on your credit report by using boom pay and rent reporters. Now we're going to wrap up this part four of the masterclass because we're going to be wrapping up all of those type of credit builder accounts in the next episode. We're going to be reviewing all of these revolving accounts that we want to kind of move towards, right? When we're initially building, we don't want a lot of inquiries. So all of those, you know, installment accounts are great to get because there's no hard inquiry, but now we want to kind of move on to revolving, right? We don't want to, you know, just fill everything with like too many installment accounts. I, I would say you probably don't want more than like you know, eight or 10 installment accounts. And even that's kind of a lot because that's going to affect your debt to income when you are applying. So when you are going to be applying for credit, you don't want to have a lot of extra credit builder accounts that show that you have a balance, but you really don't have a balance. So you really have to play this carefully. And that's why I say when you are initially building, that's when you want to start really adding a lot of these primary accounts that are not going to cost you an inquiry. And if you are, you know, unsure of what route would be best for you, feel free to hit the link below, book a coaching call so we can walk through it together. I'm like your personal GPS. I'm going to take you where you need to be. Let's go. Make sure to watch the playlist coming up next.